TPC, Big John coming back at you, baby. Well, I apologize. I know it's more of a Monday morning special than a Sunday night special, but I've just been, been trying to put together some new things here. Got some new lighting in the studio. Got a new audio visual system, a new mic setup going on here. Um, we are shooting in 4K. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading in 4K, but hey, it is what it is, baby. So, we're trying to make improvements where we can, when we can. We're smoking on some of that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful penny farthing shag cut. Real nice, nice, pretty stuff. I got it burning real nice in the Alexander. Let's show you some of this. Coming out in the old London series, GLPs. It's nice. Not too bad. Can bite you a little bit on that shag cut. Tastes a little young. It's a little rough around the edges. But if you give it a nice couple sips, it smokes just fine. This in a couple years be a nice blend well for the Monday <laughs> Sunday night special tonight we're gonna do something a little different you seen the intro so we are trying to do some new things hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it um, as far as the music and the intro um, we are hooked up now with uh, our friends over at Sound Connection. And uh, we have uh, official licenses to a few songs. So in the future here, now we will be playing some, uh, some music that we are authorized to play in the intros. Um, that does not mean that we're going to kill the Sunday Night Special. I'm still going to jam out. Uh, just in my intro music, I'm no longer going to be using that, um, what is like the no copyright music or whatnot. That's uh, causing a lot of problems for channels because a lot of it is copyrighted and they're reporting and taking things down as they go. drinking on a little four roses small batch tonight well the point of tonight point of this video is i am going to do my top five of 2019 19 pipe tobaccos and we are going to kick that off a little over halfway into the year so we are going to get that going here. And we're going to start it off. I still haven't quite decided. Just like last time, the last year. I'm still trying to figure out which one. And my... 
my whole deal with it is that my top five is based on what I've been smoking the most, what I've been reaching for, and what I enjoy. Not what's the most popular, not what's the hardest to get. It's just what I grab and what I've been enjoying. Although this uh, Penny Farthing is brand new, it is not in my top five yet. We'll see. See how it ages. But honorable mention in the top five. Always got to have an honorable mention. Is going to be the Dan Tobacco English Hoopla. Read a little bit. A modern interpretation of a traditional English pipe blend. Robust Latakia. Softened with exceptional Oriental and Virginia tobaccos. And a little bit of vanilla and anisette. That English hoopla is something that I've grabbed for a lot ever since I've started smoking it. It is a nice, different English blend with a little bit of vanilla on top. And it's a beautiful smoker. So you get a chance to check it out. Five, six bucks a ten. Um, the most I've seen it was seven, maybe. But if you uh, catch it on sale, you can get it pretty cheap. So, 2019 honorable mention. Dan Tobacco English Hoopla. Number five. Number five. As for number five. Newcomer for me, a new tobacco. Um, Alex, stay at home piper, and Eric Pick both told me that this was a very good blend. I picked it up in Chicago, had a chance to smoke a little bit of it, and I was just absolutely blown away by the flavor and the, the thickness of the smoke. And, and they, they described it as, you know, smoking a milkshake. And I, you know, smoking, smoking a milkshake. What, what, what does that mean? Is it thick? Is it sweet? What's going on with it? Well, my number five is going to be the Sutliff Crumble Cake English number one. Hope that's focusing there. The Crumble Cake English number one is nothing special. Nothing special at all. Burley, Latakia, Oriental, Turkish from Virginia. I don't know what they did to it. Now they pressed it into some cakes. But this stuff is absolutely beautiful. And it's got a flavor to it that comes off like a sweet, thick milkshake. And I get exactly what they're saying about it. So that is my number five blend. Moving on. My number four. Number four. Four is one that I continually grab for ever so often. It's one that, for a lot of pipe smokers, it's the blend that they reach for when they're totally frustrated on flakes and they, they're finally looking for something that's easy to pack, easy to smoke. And that's going to be the H.H. McBaron. Navy Flake. I got a little bit right here. Oh. Come on now. This H.H. McBaron Navy Flake is Flake 101 for anybody that wants to learn how to smoke flakes. Refer to that packing method that I showed in the Solani Burley video and uh, 
you'll be right at home. The McBaron Navy Flake is a Burley Cavendish and Virginia mix. Um, this has a little bit of flavoring. I don't detect the floral essences that Tobacco Review says. A um, little bit of citrus, a little bit of rum. I do detect those flavorings. Um, but it's nice. It's smooth. It is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful flake. And uh, if you're looking for something new and you haven't tried it yet, give her a shot. Only downside. Only one downside to this blend is the fact that it is darn expensive. And the, the tins of it are, you know, they're a little pricey. But check out on Pipe Stud. Check to see what they've got out there. There's been a couple of things popping up that had a little bit of age on them. That weren't too much more than what they're asking for the regular tins. So if you feed, if you see one, grab it. Try it out. Give it a shot. Moving on. So number three. Number three. Number three is going to be I still don't know yet. Number three is going to be quite possibly one of my favorite vapors. It's becoming all of a sudden, well, not really all of a sudden, since I've started smoking, which hasn't been too long, um, has become a little bit rare to get. But for num my number three, one of my favorite vapors is the Rattray's Marlin Flake. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, sweet smoke. Rattray's put something together in the in the stove, the Virginia department, and the, the Perique department that is stewed fru fruit and just absolutely beautiful. And uh, I, I, I love it. Black Cavendish Perique in Virginia. And I mean, it gets a little bit of age on it. This tends from 18. And I mean, it's already a lot blacker, noticeably blacker than when I bought it. And uh, it's it's getting to be some good stuff. Got a couple cans, gonna throw them back there for four or five years, see what we're working with. You get a chance, keep an eye on the rat trays, keep an eye out, see if you can find you some. I know it comes in the the 50 gram tin, 100 gram, and then it becomes in the big, big, huge roll too. So if you get a chance, don't hesitate. Snatch it up, snatch it up. Cutting it down, cutting it down. It's been the year of the vapor. For my number two. Number two. For my number two. We're going to go with Salty Dog. And I know. I know. Boo. Boo, Big John. These blends are all impossible to get. This is never in stock. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is my top five. This is what I've been grabbing for. And I've been able to grab a good amount of Salty Dog and help others grab some Salty Dog, too, along the way. And I do believe, if you check it out, last I checked, a cup of Joes and a couple of sites, four noggins, they had it in stock. It's a straight Virginia Perique. It's got a rum flavoring. I'm not going to open this one, but you can hear it. it it's got a brick of tobacco inside. I should have pulled out one of the jars so I could show it to you. 
Absolutely beautiful. You break it apart. It's nice. It's beautiful. Try it out. It's delicious tobacco. Salty Dogs. My number two. And number one. Number one. Number one. I know, Alec. You already know. You know it's coming. I know you know it's coming. So quit smiling. Quit smiling. I can see I can see his smile. Cause he told me about this blend. And uh Pipes Etc. sent me this blend. And I am now currently almost out of this blend. And I need to buy some more because I've smoked so much. My number one for 2019. Is going to be L.J. Peretti, Tashkent. I don't have much left. It's a sad day. Tashkent is out. Latakia, Oriental, Turkish. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Named for the most beautiful city in Central Asia. This spicy, full-flavored blend is made from Izmir, Latakia, and the Nereus Strand of Virginia. Which, it doesn't say that in the contents, but you can taste it. It's, it's, it's present. Tashkent is a Turkish blend married with Latakia to produce a smooth, rich flavor and a hint of spiciness. Listen. Tashkent is my favorite, my favorite Oriental forward, English blend, Oriental blend, whatever they call that blend. It's delicious. Buy some, try some. In fact, if you don't like it, send me some. But that's Big John's top five for 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you see, subscribe. Stick around. We'll jam out next weekend. Do something a little special. Check on a few things. Don't forget, you get a chance. Sign up for the Briar Report newsletter. Gonna be some real cool things going down in the future. Speaking of the Briar Report, check it out. If you don't regularly, as a pipe smoker, go over there to the Briar Report or Stogie Report or or any of those uh, those uh, media outlets, check them out. Get some information, and it's nice. It's where I start my day with a cup of coffee. Is on the Briar Report. Well, YTPC, I don't know how long this video's been, but I'll go ahead and cut it off. You have a good one, and I'm out. Peace.